In some upcoming videos, you're going to see some audio system diagnostics and modifications in Minty Green, my 2004 Trailblazer. The Trailblazer platform came with several variations of the factory audio system. And these variations are a big deal because what will work in Minty Green may not work for you. So it's important that you're able to identify which audio system your Trailblazer has before following any audio system diagnostic procedures shown here on this channel. Minty Green does not have the factory Bose system. So today you're going to see how you can tell if you have or don't have the factory Bose system. So the Bose system would have the RPO code of UQA. You'd have speakers up in the dash. You'd have an amplifier in the right rear of the cargo area. And it may or may not say Bose on the radio itself or in the display when you first turn the truck on. The most accurate way to determine which audio system your Trailblazer had from the factory can be found on this little sticker inside the glove box. Now you want to make sure that somebody didn't replace the glove box on you because that can kind of fuck things up. So make sure that your VIN number here matches in other spots on the car. On this thing what we're looking for is UQA. We don't have UQA. Now another way to determine what you have, take a flashlight and look down in here. If you don't see a speaker, you just see like this little black cardboard thing, more than likely it doesn't have the Bose system. There is a chance that someone added aftermarket speakers to the dash in your Trailblazer. Now here you can see aftermarket tweeters in the dash shown on the left and a factory Bose speaker shown on the right. Factory Bose speaker, somewhere roughly close to three inches, it really fills in that little perforated hole you see on the left. Most aftermarket tweeters, about an inch and a half diameter, so it's going to look tiny, you know, in comparison to a factory Bose speaker. If there is a speaker in the dash, you can also look to see if there's a little logo. Like in this case, you can see the little Rockford Fosgate logo on this one. What I'm getting at here is just because there is a speaker in the dash doesn't necessarily mean that it's a Bose speaker. If you really wanted to determine if you had the Bose system, you can take off these trim panels back there and look for an amplifier. see here you've got a couple tapped holes and this would be where the factory Bose amplifier would be located. Now your factory radio may or may not have Bose on the radio itself. You may see the Bose logo when you first turn the radio on. Now I myself do not have a trailblazer with the Bose system. I'm going off of cases reported throughout the years on the forms. Some people have had the Bose system with no marking on the radio or in the display. Some people had it on the radio and the display. There's been a lot of discrepancies and really there's no set answer as to if the radio itself can tell you if it's a Bose radio or not. Just for comparison, here's a Bose radio from a 2004 Tahoe. It does not have the Bose logo on it, but it is a Bose radio. So really the radio itself is not a good way to determine if you have Bose or not. So the order that I would put these in for determining the Bose system the first one would be the RPO code UQA because it's the easiest and it will guarantee you as long as the VIN number is right that it does or doesn't have the Bose system. The presence of the amplifier in the right rear of the cargo area would be the next surefire way to determine if it has the Bose system. Although in this case a little bit more work is needed because removing that trim can be a bitch. Speakers in the dash not that reliable because somebody could have added speakers along the way. You didn't know what was in there originally. And using the radio itself to determine if it has Bose or not, not really reliable because like I said, some of them do have it on the display, some of them don't. So that way is definitely not reliable. So RPO code definitely, amplifier definitely, speakers maybe, um, radio not really reliable. Now there's going to be internet technicians out there that are going to tell you, like you don't have to do anything, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. All you got to do is pull one of your front door panels off and that'll tell you if you have the Bose system or not. Well, fuck you, internet technicians. You guys haven't seen shit where people have put the wrong factory speakers in the factory speaker locations. I've personally seen this shit, you know what I'm saying? I've seen it where a car will have a problem with a speaker not working and the shop using a junkyard for replacing the speaker for that vehicle. Whether it's the junkyard or the shop's fault, it doesn't matter. I've seen it where they'll actually get the wrong speaker for it and it will physically plug into the connector for the door speaker and it will physically bolt up to the door. 
but it's the wrong speaker. I've seen it both ways where they'll put the premium speaker in the not premium system or the not premium speaker in the premium system. So that's not a reliable way to do it. And then what if somebody follows your advice and they pull one of the front door panels and there's like an aftermarket speaker in there. What then? What's your advice then? I think that dog that keeps barking gives better advice than you motherfuckers do. You know what I'm saying? This is about my viewers identifying if they do or don't have the factory Bose system without any guesswork like pulling door panels and looking at speakers. You know what I'm saying? Now since you internet technicians know way more than I do with all your years of non-existent experience, get yourself a camera and some video editing software and do what I do. Good luck. This video is for the people that are going to be trying some audio system uh, diagnostics and modifications to their Trailblazer. They need to know that there is a major difference between the Bose Premium System and the regular system. OnStar doesn't have anything to do with either of those. That's why it's only getting split into two. I should know because I read every fucking audio diagram that GM made for these trucks. Existing experience? non-existent experience you know what I'm saying anyway as some of you guys know uh, with Minty Green there's an inoperative right rear door speaker we've got to troubleshoot and we're gonna figure out something about you know putting a decent quality aftermarket head unit in this thing and some other audio odds and ends that I want to show you guys since I have a relatively un, un I was gonna say I'm molested but I'm not gonna say that what I will say instead is we have a unmodified trailblazer so we can show you these things from like the ground up, you know what I'm saying? If you guys do try doing some of this stuff in your Trailblazer that I'm going to do to Mini Green, but you have the Bose system, a lot of the shit's not going to work. It's going to waste a lot of your guys' time, and I don't want that. I'd rather you just say, hey, Mini Green doesn't have Bose, but I do. I'm not going to watch the video. That's what I want. No clickbait titles, none of that bullshit, just the information that y'all need, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Give me a little bit of time because the diagnostics with Minty and a lot of the other stuff that's already been done and filmed, there is a lot of time that goes into editing these videos to make the shit, well, really what I would watch. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Fuck this shit. Let's go out on a road test. Hi folks, 2014 F-150, out on a road test doing a little evaluation, see what issues this truck may or may not have. Fuck this truck. Merry Christmas. Fuck. Don't want Katy Perry getting me for copyright. Although I wouldn't mind her rubbing her boobs in my face. But that's for another discussion. This is about Christmas from the very beginning when my kid was old enough to you know, understand kind of what was going on in life. Uh, when Christmas time came, Santa does bring him a couple gifts. Santa is not going to get credit for the good shit. Fuck that. What was funny this year was that um, now my kid's in school. Something circulated where they wanted uh, parents to say that, you know, really, really nice gifts were not from Santa. That might ruin the whole thing for Christmas for a kid. Because why the fuck's Billy get an Xbox? I wanted an Xbox. So it's nice to see that school caught on, you know, even though I've been doing this shit for probably three or four years now. It was hard for me to, you know, tell him that this magic man is going to come into the house say, on Christmas Eve and leave him presents because this motherfucker would be the one to say, well, well Dad, how's it getting the house? And if I said... Oh, Santa can come in through a window. We don't have a chimney. Uh, Santa can come in through a window. Or I'll leave the door unlocked for him. It's going to open up a whole world where bad guys could come in the house. But I did give in a little bit and said, yeah, there's a Santa. You know. I just told him I don't like Santa. I got beef with Santa. You know, when I was a kid, you know, parents did the whole Santa comes he knows if you've been good or bad and he brings you some presents and shit and that was all cool and then when I found out the truth I was like y'all motherfuckers played me like that how dare you 
and that trust is broken and once trust is broken you know it's really really hard to get back because motherfuckers gonna lie right to your face and keep keep the the con going for the long haul and then it's like hey you dumb kid <laughs> well I'm breaking that cycle so yes, technically there is a Santa, and yes, you can go along with what everybody does. Santa get you anything for Christmas? Yeah. But he ain't getting no credit for good shit. 